Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. It's your girl and all goddess. How is everyone doing tonight? All right. Just had to light some Palo Santo. I am so, I love the scent of this of Palo Santo. I'm just I don't know. I'm drawn to it. Like, oh my gosh. Anyways, how is everyone doing tonight? We already know it's the 8-8 portal, honey. It's powerful. It's manifestations. It's growth. It's prayer for our world. Um, it's all. It's it's a lot, but it, it's it's open and deeper, higher consciousness. You know, anything that you want to manifest, manifest it. I hope you guys did so tonight or today, earlier on, wherever you are. Thank you all for your continued love and support for my channel. I wish you guys love and light, and also to my new soul subscribers, I welcome you guys. Okay, so. I am titled my other reading, the last one I posted as the 8-8 reading for some odd reason. I don't know why I deleted that 8-8 part of that, but that title, that title of that reading is called Jealousy is a Disease. <laughs> and it really is. It really is. All right, so let's get popping. Let's see. Let's see what Spirit got, what's coming for you after this 8-8 portal opening here. Let's see. Let's see what is going on for my soul subscribers. All right, small eyes, this father God, as I pull. Open these rooms, I ask that you give me clear, honest messages, protect my aura and my chakra. Use me as a vessel, so must it be. All right, guys. Wow. I split the deck. Look at that. Four and a one. So this four for me is all about security, stability, manifestation, being on the right path. To manifest any new beginning that you want that's going to bring forth your change this five all together absolutely love it stable this is where so a lot of you guys are going to start believing in yourself okay believing in oneself and if you believe in magic and i hope you do see you got to believe in the magic in you honey to bring forth your your new beginnings your new opportunities okay yeah definitely and i like that i like that and once you start believing in yourself and uh, you're gonna feel more secured and that's when you're gonna see the changes to happen okay uh you guys yeah i like this you know yes this is like my Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, but it's all about opportunity and growth overall, right? New beginnings. And I feel like that's what you guys are manifesting, new beginnings. Uh, some of you guys are manifesting a new job here. Um, uh, mm, but this, this, this is just a, like a powerful energy here. When you believe in oneself, you bring forth any change that you want in your life, okay? So that's what's going on. Okay, it's bringing in security, it's bringing in stability. Look at that four, it's zero, new beginnings. Look at that, huh? Taking that leap of faith This after this portal opens, huh? My soul subscribers, I like that. Look at this. Not with, it's like without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, without a worry. New beginnings, taking that leap of faith. Okay, I feel like you guys are going to see your manifestations coming in rapidly, like real quick, right? Yeah, you're going to see it coming in real quick, baby. Yeah, I like it. I like what I see. Ooh la la. <laughs> yes, baby, bringing in a lot of balance in your life, okay? This is what it's bringing in, balance. Ten of Pentacles all together for me. Look at that. Look at that. That's gorgeous, okay? Some of you guys are awakening to your spiritual gift and getting on that right path, right? One, two, three... Yeah, you're manifesting your heart desires. Okay. Power's in your hand right now to do so. Yeah, because what you put out is what you're going to get back. What you put out is what you're going to get back. Okay, whatever you're working on, my collective, is going to bring stability and security for life. This eight altogether is like pentacles to me, that eight of pentacles, right? Yeah, what's this peaking again? Okay, six and a four again. Ten. Okay, whatever you're manifesting, honey, is going to bring forth wealth and gen it's like generational wealth. That's what you guys are creating here. Okay. All right. I like that. So this is definitely, yeah, there go the wild card, baby. You got the power to and the gift in your hand to 
create anything you want beyond your wildest dreams. You got the power to change the game, baby. <laughs> I like it. It's all beautiful here. You guys are on your right spiritual path. Okay, there go that eight again. I can't look at look what flipped over. This eight. Okay. Just follow your intuition. Follow your intuition. Because it's it's very strong right now. Okay. Your intuition is very strong. Okay. So if you hear it, you feel it, you visualize it, you see it, 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 it you're manifesting it. Okay. Yeah, you definitely are. All right. This is like my eight of pentacles, but this eight is representing of your strength. This is about abundance, willpower, changing the game, work, you know, manifestation of uh, mastery. OK, and I feel like your 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 intuition with this fourth house, this cancer energy, cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, whatever this moon energy is, which mostly is cancer. Um, but you can have it anywhere in your chart. It's getting you on alignment to your right path. OK, your higher self. This is like your mastery here. All right. Go within. Go within because you're not alone. You're not alone. OK, you're absolutely not alone here. A lot of a spiritual awakening going on here. Yeah, that's bringing forth change, transformation. OK, I feel like with this higher fit energy here, it's like a higher learning. So it's a spiritual higher learning. If you're going back to school starting this September, August and in of this month or August, September, um, it's going to bring forth abundance. Some of y'all guys are going for that degree. You finally decided that I'm going back to school to get my my degree or your master's, you know, and whatever you want to master here. Um, but it's in alignment to your purpose in life. OK. Um, I feel like some of you guys could be like in going in for the healthcare industry here, um, could be going for finances here. Some of y'all are accountants or going in for accounting. Um, some of y'all are going in for like, like I said, the healthcare business here is what I see. Okay. Or, or even, um, like something pertaining to children, childcare or something like that, opening your own daycare or. A pediatric nurse or something of that something in the medical field here is what i'm picking up here and finances okay but whatever you're doing honey it is going to bring a great abundance definitely here continue to follow your intuition you're on the right path okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um i feel like a lot of you guys are going to be getting a lot of dreams too at this point your consciousness is opening up you guys are going to be getting a lot of dreams you know with this moon energy here OK, you're going to be seeing you're getting a lot of visions is what I'm picking up here. Visions. OK, premonitions. Your intuition is heightened here. OK, definitely. Yeah, but it's all within. It's all within. Anything you want is all within to manifest this change. OK. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. You are definitely staying committed to whatever it is that you want to do. I feel like a lot of you guys are getting out of this lack mindset and you're starting to really commit to your heart's desire, whatever it is you want. And I like that, my collective. I, I mean, I commend y'all. Go for it. You could do it, right? Definitely could do that. Let's get the Kipper. See what Kipper has to say. All right. Do I want Kipper, Spirit? Do I want Kipper? Hmm. Toil and labor. Okay. Actually, no, I don't want Kipper. We are royalty around here, my collective. So let's get the royal tarot. We are royalty around here. Okay. Stop it. <laughs> we are royalty around here, boo. We going after it. Yes. Feeling extremely ambitious. It's this energy, this night of want, this night of source energy is saying to me, move, bitch, get out the way, get out the way, like get out my way. I'm feeling like a, a bullet train right now, okay? <laughs> it's like things are coming in rapidly, okay? Everything you're manifesting is just coming in rapidly. Yes, but you're going in, you see this nine? Hermit energy, you're getting spiritual guidance here, spiritual guidance, okay? Yes, yes. A lot of spiritual guidance and healing here. A lot of self-reflecting is what's going on here. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of healing and self-reflecting as well is what I'm picking up here. Okay. And, and you know what? 
I'm going to tell you the truth with the guidance here. You guys are learning a lot about yourself, about your spirituality. This, 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 um, eight, eight portal you guys are learning a lot about yourself with this hermit energy as well. What I see here as well, it's, it's right here, right here. I'm sorry. I have the deck upside down. This is it. Hermit. See that lantern you're moving by faith with this, with this hierophant energy and not by sight, by faith, your intuitive energy, right? That's what you guys are doing. And so I, and, and I'm picking it up strongly where you guys are really feeling this energy heavily. Okay. So don't doubt yourself. Believe in yourself. Okay. Believe in yourself. You got it. You got it. My collective, you got it. Your spirit guides are around you, protecting you to make this happen. Okay. You got that strength. You got the willpower. Okay. And I feel like that's what's like, yeah. Okay. What fell through? That hermit. So that hermit spirit says to leave it out. Y'all could be a Virgo. Some of y'all could have Virgo in your chart. Okay. But that's that hermit. You're getting spiritual guidance now at this point. <clears throat> Keep hearing that song. Believe in me. Sail away. Take me away somewhere where I would rather be. I don't know if I got the lyrics right, y'all. So I keep hearing that song, Sail Away. Okay. So is there somebody here that's in the secret? Somebody in the hermit energy here? Is this a Virgo, my collective? This could be a Virgo, uh, Earth energy. We see the pen Eight of Pentacles here, or a Scorpio. Um, <coughs> excuse me. This could be a Cancer, or this could be a, a, a Taurus that's coming towards you. Somebody here has a secret admirer. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but somebody's being spiritually guided with that Six of Swords energy here. Okay? Oh, wow. <clears throat> I feel like with this Five of Pentacles here, um, this Five of Pentacles is like you are getting out of the cold. I feel like with all that you are being guided to get right now with this abundance right here, whatever you work on right now, don't have any fear. Because I'm picking up this moon energy as well with this four, this 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 moon energy. It's like a fear. But don't go, don't have any fear. Your spirit guides are near. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> They're right there. They're near. Okay. So go after it. Oh, okay. What fell out? Two of Pentacles. I feel like some of y'all are, you got a lot on your plate. And you're trying to figure out how am I going to make this all happen? But see, you're adaptable. Spirit don't give you no more than what you can handle. And they know you can handle this. Okay. So with this two of pentacles here, it's like, God, Lord, give me strength to face another day. Because I don't know how I'm going to get through it. But you end up getting through it anyways. Because you're adaptable. Okay. You're adaptable, my collective. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like with the hermit energy here, like I said, some of you guys, it's like spiritual guidance. But like I said, your intuition, I feel like you guys are getting dreams. You guys are getting messages. You're getting downloads. You 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 know, how to, how to make, how to juggle your situation here. Okay. Oh. Somebody is definitely loving you too. As, this is like a Queen of Cups energy here. With this four, this moon energy. Fourth house is that cancer, cancer energy. Somebody, somebody has hidden emotions for you. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. King of Wands fell right on this hermit energy. See, I, I picked up on a... <clears throat> so this king of wands could be this leo right here too or taurus but king of wands i feel like this is you my collective you see taking leadership taking action it doesn't matter male or female but this king of wands energy is a natural born leader okay natural born okay so like i said spirit is gonna spirit doesn't give you more than what you can handle okay because they know you can handle it okay um, whatever you are manifesting, it is going to change your whole entire life. World card here. I mean, wheel of fortune here. 
Okay? It's your turn now. It's your turn. Your abundance is here. You got the strength. You got the willpower. You got the intuitive energy. You got you can maintain it. You know how to balance it with that two of pentacles and that king of wands energy and that hermit energy. I mean, just go with the flow here because you already know what the answer is, my collective. Okay? You already know. You might not can see it. It might not be like physically in front of you or in your hand, but it's in it's within. So, you're just you're a natural born leader. Okay? All right. Yeah. Follow your guidance here. OK. And whatever this is, it's going to bring a lot of wish fulfillment here. OK. It's going to bring a lot of wish fulfillment here with this nine of cups. OK. So with this wheel of fortune and this, it's going to bring your wish fulfillment. It's going to bring great abundance for you. Yes, it is. Whatever this is. But I feel like, like I said, with this faith card here, move by faith. That's what you're moving by, not by sight. OK, because it's going to bring forth a lot of wish fulfillment. OK, continue to show the gratitude that you're showing. OK, continue to do that because I feel like you guys, there go the strength card. I can't make it up. There it go. You got the strength. You got the willpower. You got this. I feel like you guys are going to feel a little more invigorated after this, um, after this portal, you know, in the next few days. So be prepared for that. OK. Oh, okay. <clears throat> mm. I'm gonna. Sh I keep avoiding this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna shuffle this out again. Oh my goodness! So we got the three of swords and the king of swords here on the board. I feel like with the king of swords, three of swords, the king of wands. This is this person that's coming towards you. Mm. This person wants to come in and offer you some type of commitment here with this Hierophant energy here. Like marriage or a long-term commitment. I feel like this person has gone through their share of a heartbreak. They got mental clarity now and this person want to come and speak their truth. Okay. King of Swords, Three of Swords. I feel like this person, I heard that song, Sail Away. Take me away somewhere else, something like where I would rather be. So wherever they're at, this person really don't want to be there. Maybe it's just an emotional thing between him and that person with that king of wands and this. But if somebody's contemplating, juggling, to find the strength to take action to let go of their relationship they know it's going to it's going to bring like that wheel of fortune is a, is a, is a change of life okay somebody has hidden emotions for you and and and, and it's it's like a three of swords energy i don't know if this person hurt you or this person is hurting because this is like mental anguish but I feel like with the King of Swords energy here and the justice here, somebody want to make it right with you. You could be dealing with the Libra. This person want to make it right with you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I feel like with this eight, this person wants to come. And I feel like what they're trying to do is like they're trying to. I feel like this person is doing some type of healing. Okay. They're healing before they take action towards you. They're finding the confidence to do so. I feel like what's going on with this person, with this Hierophant, this five energy, they're making a change. This person was, you know, you guys probably had two different beliefs. You know, maybe you were more intuitive, more spiritual. This person was more 3D type of energy. Could be dealing with a fire sign, air sign here. Okay. Leah. Yeah. We have the King of Swords, Justice, and Three of Swords. So this person wants to come back and make things right. They want to justify. They got mental clarity now. This person is ready to speak their truth and be honest with you. Okay? This person is ready to take action. I feel like this person went through a whole, like, uh, uh, they let go of a karmic life cycle here. 
They went through a whole entire transformation, inner transformation. This person is on their right path now. I feel like they're on the right path because this is like my seven chakra cards here, the, the plus four. This person is now on their right path, okay, within. Because they took action. They took leadership. They taken control, okay? If this person was all about money, you know, um, they realize that money isn't all. It's not satisfying to them. This person has to go within and find fulfillment within because all what they had in the material world uh, was not satisfying. It didn't complete them. It didn't fill the void. Okay? I feel like for a long time with this Two of Pentacles, this person tried to juggle a lot. They tried to, main, you know, try to keep themselves busy with this Two of Pentacles. They kept themselves busy thinking that, you know, they can avoid this feeling. Whatever they were feeling or whatever they were trying to fill, but it wasn't fulfilling. So I feel like somebody has let go of their traditional beliefs of how they were raised. You feel me with this five? And they've gone through a change here, a spiritual change here. Okay. I feel like somebody now got mental clarity. They have somebody seen things from a higher perspective. Okay. And now they're seeing the truth of everything. They're viewing the world in a different light, you know. They're no longer looking at things at how it used to be when they were growing up. This could be you too, my collective. Because all it did was bring a lot of deceit. Great heartbreaks, betrayal, you know. And the, the way they used to think, this person is like stripping their beliefs and, and realizing that it, it's, it's painful. They've been betrayed trying to be loyal to a situation. Okay. Six of Cups, somebody's in nostalgia over you. Okay, there you go, Queen of Wands. Okay, Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups, this person probably walked away from you. They probably walked away from you and went over here to this Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Or they're walking away from this Queen of Wands situation here where it was only strictly sexual. Remember when I said it was only just like a physical thing going on here with this feminine energy like right here, this, this, this cancer, they could be dealing with a cancer. Oh, I feel like this person is walking away from this person. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Like a married couple here or long-term relationship here. This person is, you know, they got mental clarity to realize that this that they want more than something that is physical. You know? Um, I feel like while they were with this Queen of Wands... They were reminiscing over you, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay? They're ready to walk away from that situation. I feel like that's what they're doing. They're ending a situation with this Queen of Wands energy. Or they're heartbroken over this Queen of Wands and they regret walking away from you because I see the Six of Cups here with the Eight of Cups. So this person is reminiscing over the past. You know, they're in nostalgia. Six of Cups. Eight of Cups. OK. Um, and I feel like what they're contemplating with this four of swords energy, what they're thinking about all up in their thoughts, all in their emotions is walking away from this queen of pentacles. Maybe the person who they're with is all about that money, you know, and it's not fulfilling. Yeah, that's who they're ready to end this situation with. There you go. I told you there was a Scorpio on the board here and there it go. They're ready to end this with this karmic energy because that's what it is if this person is not happy and they're sitting in a situation it doesn't have to be detrimental it doesn't mean that they fight or you know like cats and dogs or anything or it's toxic to that point but when you're not living in your true authentic self you know it does become weary you know and you start thinking about it every day that means obviously it's something that's off balance in your life so being with this queen of pentacles is not satisfying to this person okay and they're ready to bring it to an end they're ready to walk away from her. I feel like this person wants to come in and apologize to you. There you go with that apology cup, page of cups energy. This person wants to come in. But I feel like what this person is doing is going through a huge transformation here. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, this person is going through a, a spiritual change here. They're, a life cycle changing here with this wheel of fortune and this eight right here. Okay. I feel like this person has finally found the strength to speak their truth. And tell this Queen of Pentacles that they want to let go. King of Swords, divorce. Okay? Because this is like a twin flame energy, my collective. Look at this. Look at this. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. That's like a twin flame energy here. 
Okay? All right? They, this person feels like as if for a very long time. I feel like they've been hiding it for a long time. They feel as if you and them were destined to be. This is fate. So a lot of you guys are going to come, come back in, 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 in reconciliation with someone from your past here. Possibly your twin flame here. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like with the Justice card here and the King of Swords here right next to it, yeah, this person's going to ask for a divorce from that Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords. Because I feel like this person already emotionally divorced this person. They have. They're just there physically, but they're emotionally already divorced. Yeah, this person want to come in and express their love. Eight of Wands. They're coming in fast, too. Yeah, there go the Moon card. I can't make it up. There go that Moon. There it is. Cancer Pisces or Scorpio energy here. This is a Moon energy. I told you. This person's been longing to come and talk to you and express their love to you. I feel like if you're online on a platform or somewhere, this person's been watching you secretly. So I said some of you guys got a secret admirer here. Yes, this person is ready to take action. Okay, they want to come in. They're ready to take action. They want a new beginning with you. They, they want to basically reconcile with you here. Okay, my collective, yes, they see you as their earth angel. But I feel like for a very long time, this person has been trying to put in the hard work over there in that marriage or that relationship for the longest while and being patient. You know, they try to keep, the, they, you know, they try to keep, keep their temperament. They try to keep things balanced. But I feel like that balance is just over. It's, it's like it's bursting. It's like trying to hold water up behind the dam. And every time it leaks, you patch it. And every time you fix that patch here, go another leak. And then, and then another leak. And then another leak, you know what I'm saying, until the, it just all comes crumbling down like a tower, okay? All right, now, for the other situation here for my collective, because there's more than one message here. Um, with the Page of Cups, it's also following your intuition. It might be faint at this very point. You know, when you find out you're just pregnant with a new idea, abundant. Yeah, it's like, it's very faint. You probably are not being able to. That's why I said with the first time when I seen that four and that yellow, it's all about believing in yourself and believing that you can accomplish anything that you visualize. So think of the new possibilities here and follow your intuition. Okay. I feel like uh, your angels are all around you, guiding you and helping you to temper this to bring forth your new beginnings. And I feel like with that, have no fear because I've seen that moon energy. Don't have any fear. Listen to your intuition. It's guiding guiding you okay your angels are guiding you to take if to open these new doors of new beginnings for you okay and once you do that that eight of wands is going to be endless it's like you're going to be unstoppable okay but you got to let go of the fear like i said spirit don't give you no more than what you can handle okay yeah this is because for some of y'all this is a childhood dream something that you've always wanted to do since you were a child six of cups energy okay so go back and deal with that okay Go and deal with that, okay? Some of y'all are going to be working for the law here, with the justice here. I felt like there was something going on with the justice system here, law pertaining to children or something. With the King of Swords energy, that's like an authority figure. Some of y'all are probably going back to law school or, you know, you're working in um, a law firm office or something of that nature with the law here, all right? Um, yeah. Okay. So go ahead and do that. Like I said, you are a natural born leader with that King of Wands energy, Queen of Wands energy. Take it either way, masculine or feminine. Okay? You both are on the board here. You're natural born leaders, honey. You got that fire in you. This could be my, my Leo energy too, that red, that fire in you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's going to change your whole entire foundation. Okay? This higher education, whatever it is you're studying, you're mastering, go after it. Okay? Some of y'all are going to be in the law here. Some of y'all are going for police officers or... Something like that here, okay? Um, yeah. Okay. I feel like a lot of you guys are restoring faith in your old dreams and your beliefs. You're restoring your faith. That's what I pick up with this angel, with this um, temperance energy and this hierophant energy here. Like, you're restoring your faith, okay? You've gone through a death and a rebirth here, a transformation here in your life, okay? And that transformation is going to bring forth this new beginning, new opportunities. But you've got the power of manifestation. Just follow your intuition, okay, with that moon energy. I feel like a lot of y'all are getting down. The spirit is showing you the path to go, What, which way to go, you know? I feel like some of y'all are probably dreaming, seeing yourself running, Something of that nature here, okay? Yeah. You guys could be dreaming about water, rapid water flow here or something like that here. Okay? But that's the two different scenarios here. Okay. All right. 
Let's get another deck here. Three of Pentacles, whatever you work hard on, my collective. There you go, my Divine Femme Empress energy here. I feel like this person wants to come back and offer you marriage. Somebody wants to team up and collaborate with you. Okay, but you know that Empress energy is somebody who's very nurturing, somebody who's a, very independent, someone who's abundant, okay? Very self-sufficient here. Very wise, okay? All right, yeah. Oh, wow. Um, let's get another deck here. Let's get another deck. Let me get the, um, which is tarot. Actually, no, let me get the yin-yang oracle here. Wait a minute, wait a minute this yeah let me get the um i like my yin yang oracle let's see what's popping let's see what's pop let's get it started let's get it started all right there you go i just look at that what do we have here well 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 what do we have here feminine what do we have here all right yes i like that feminine energy, yeah, that crown chakra is lit. Told y'all getting them downloads, baby. That third eye is open, okay? A lot of spiritual downloads, a lot of awakenings here. All right, yeah, somebody does want to, yep, somebody want to come in. Somebody want to come in and offer you this um, compassion here because that strength card also represents compassion, Okay, it also represents influence. This person is trying to figure out how they're going to influence you to give them a, to, to, um, to reconcile with you. But they definitely want to restore this with you with that temperance energy. Okay, I feel like somebody's being very patient here. Okay, mm-hmm. All right. There's a, quite a few messages here. Take what resonates, my collective. Who the cat fit? Let them wear it. Okay. All right. Um, somebody do want your forgiveness as well. Somebody wants to say, I'm sorry with that apology card here. I feel like this person has learned their spiritual lesson. They have. This person is now seeing things from a higher perspective and how much you really mean to them. Okay. Somebody wants to come in and voice their opinion. They want to come in and rush on in and express their love. All right. Telephone love. You sound so sweet on the line. Okay. <laughs> Didn't I tell you somebody wants your forgiveness? Somebody wants to come in and apologize. I knew it. Here it is. Okay. Because now that you are this divine feminine, I feel like what you did to this person, my collective, away from this uh, reading of you working hard and teaming up and collaborating with the right people, you ought to be at the right place at the right time, but away from that independently, because that's what you are. You're feeling fulfilled within yourself, my collective. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. You're, it's like gratitude. You've shown so much gratitude for coming on such a long way. So now it's your turn. The tables have turned. Wheel of Fortune, your abundance is here. You've held the strength. No matter what came your way with that Two of Pentacles energy, you knew how to balance it. You had a lot on your plate, but you maintained it. You feel me? It was balanced. You always figured a way out to make it happen. So continue to do so. And I feel like some of y'all are a little tired. I feel like some of y'all are weary, like, oh, when is it my turn? But it's, it is your turn. It is your turn, okay? Spirit, you're, you have not been... You have not... Um, gone gone unforeseen for all your hard work, okay? All your hard work is here to pay off, okay? Yeah, yeah. Um. Anyways, back to this Nine of Cups energy right here Um. and this Empress energy, this Divine Feminine energy. Um, uh, what's going on here? I fell in reverse. Um, this person now wants to come back and team up with you. They want to collaborate. And they're hoping that you will give them a chance, basically with this Three of Pentacles, to prove themselves. You know, that's what they want. This person looks like they're stressed. Look at them. Look at this person. This is all they do. They're in isolation. Wow. Look at, the, look at this person. They're in isolation. They're isolating themselves from everyone. This person is like, uh, like, even if they're in a relationship over here with this Queen of Pentacles energy, it's like this person cannot get you off their mind. I can't help myself. I'm lost without you. How does it feel to know that I love you, baby? This person is lost without you. 
And I feel like what this person is asking for is God's spiritual guidance to get the, to, to bring you back. Because with that hermit and this hierophant energy I'm picking on, this person is asking for, you know, give them a chance. They're asking spirit to give them another chance with you. They want to justify this. They want to speak their truth. They know what they've done was wrong. And I feel like they got their karma for messing with this divine energy, for betraying you, for hurting you with that three of swords, you know. And it's like it's haunting this person. It's haunting them. It is. It's like they try to end the cycle, but they can't end it until they apologize. They they want to they want a new beginning with you with this death card right here. Okay, I feel like yeah, I feel like where they're at, it's like it's haunting. It's very haunting. This person is like in isolation. This person is going through a spiritual change here. Wow, this 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 person is taking over your reading, but I feel like you're already here, divine fam, or masculine. Take it how it resonates. Okay, do remember gender is fluid. Yes, you already freed yourself from this situation. You are here focused on your own opportunity. Okay, you're no longer in lack or feeling heartbroken over this person. The tables have turned. Now they're feeling the wrath. Because if this, I feel like with that, that energy of, with the moon energy here, twice, I feel like this is like communication, telepathic energy, right? Yeah, yeah. This is definitely telepathic energy. Yeah. This person dreams about you. You guys dream about each other. You guys are very intuitive. This person could have cancer in their chart too. Both of you could be cancer. Could be your moon sign. But this person is just, they miss your nurturing, loving, compassionate energy. This is what they miss. They miss it. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Wow. But I really feel like this person is asking God to forgive them. This person is going through hell right now. I'm going to tell you right now, they're asking God for forgiveness. Yeah. Well, soon. I'll let you guys know. I'll let your food digest a little bit. Yeah, this person wants to come and work it out with you. I feel like some of them, they had you in a third party right here. Two of Pentacles, they was undecisive, trying to juggle both situations. And to you, let it go. You moved on. Wow. How long I've been on here? Wow. Okay, yeah, this person is healing. They're going within and e healing their inner child, like I told you. Okay. Yeah, they're healing their inner child. Yeah, with the Six of Cups energy. Okay, they're going back. <coughs> mm, wow. Wow. It says right here, control and nostalgia. Look at this. All right. Wherever this person went, the, whatever control tactics they were trying to use, it didn't work. It didn't work. Whatever this control tactic was. Okay. Or they went over here to somebody who's very controlling. Okay. But here they are sitting here thinking about you. I only want to be with you. Got to be real with you. I can't leave you alone. Okay. Yeah, they want this divine union. But this person is for a long time. It's like they were under some type of soul tie. They were under some type of karmic soul tie here. Okay. But I feel like that has now changed because with the decisions here, this person was in fear. Didn't I say? This person was in fear of making any type of decision. This person is taking over y'all reading. Okay. Definitely taking over y'all reading. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do I see peeking here? Masculine energy here. There it go. And what's peeking at the back, that ego, that pride. And the person they're with only wants them for vanity. Okay? That's all they want them for. They don't want them for anything else. This masculine, they feel isolated. They feel alone. Because no matter, even though they have all this ego, even though they got all that material shit, all this pride, it's like this person is falling on their own sword. Okay? Yeah. Wow. This masculine energy here. Yeah. This person is now ready for growth. All right. Um, for you, my collective, as well. Um, like I said, don't be in fear of making any decisions. It's your time for growth. That Ace of Wands energy. There's no, no, there's let go of the fear. There's no fear. What's this peaking? What is that? Wow. Look at that. Twin flame. Didn't I tell y'all? It was just pushing itself out. There go y'all. Twin flame. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Okay, I feel like with the gratitude in reverse, this person, 
did not have um, any gratitude. They didn't show any gratitude. They didn't care. They had it as a strictly sexual energy here. This person could have been very cold and abrasive with that King of Swords energy. You know, they only seen things from one perspective, one side. You know, and they was very determined and stubborn to have things their way or the highway. So it's like they went and they found their match, you know. Wow. But deep down, hidden, this person had hidden emotions for you. They were hiding it. But like I said, they was using that control tactics, think that you were going to chase them. And instead, you went off and manifest your own abundance. You freed yourself. And with this nine of cups, you found the strength to find the fulfillment within yourself. Because, yeah, with that nine of cups, okay? Damn, this person is just completely taking over your reading. Okay? For some of y'all, you guys have to free yourself and go back and heal some inner childhood wounds. Okay? Yourself. Wow. Wow. But now this person is realizing how much you are their earth angel. And for some of y'all, I just picked this up as your spirit, guys. Your angels are all around you. You're protected. Okay? Go after what you want. But this person, they regret not showing any gratitude uh, with the present abundant moment. No, this person has to do some healing. That's why they're isolating themselves. I told you this person feels alone. They feel alone. Yeah, they do. Oh my goodness, this person is completely taking over your reading. It's like with this indecisive energy, that's what they were doing. They was trying to juggle both which way to go. And but you 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 didn't give them the opportunity to choose. You chose. And with you choosing, you decide to grow. Growth. Now this person I feel like is now realizing that with the King of Swords energy, now they got mental clarity. Okay? Yeah. Um wow. This person is ready to come in, they're ready to take action. Oh, wow. Oh, what's this? Yeah, this person wants to come in and offer you something stable now. They want stability, they want harmony, and they want flow. Yeah, that's that hierophant energy. This is what they want to offer commitment. Okay, yeah, didn't I tell you they miss your nurturing, compassionate energy? I told you this is what they miss. All right, and they regret treating you the way they did. No? See, this person was repressing their emotions, and they regret it. They should have spoke up. Because now this person feels like, not even just on a physical point, but in um, spiritual, vibrational energy, this person feels like you are so above them. So they know they can't come in here and offer you anything material. There's nothing material that could fulfill you, okay? Because you're already getting it on your own, Three of Pentacles. You're working hard, Empress energy, Divine Feminine energy here, okay? Or Masculine, take it how it resonates, okay? So I feel as if this person now... Um, Whatever they were choosing, they know all this ego, all this vanity, all this pride. They probably got women that was attracted to them that loved that much. They got somebody who was only attracted to them for their money. This Queen of Pentacles energy only wanted them for their money. Okay. Um, maybe it was just, you know, they wanted to keep it strictly sexual with you and them, but they knew the attraction was real. They knew this connection. This is one of a kind, twin flame. Okay. Um, so I feel like now this person is right here. This self-care energy, because this is what you were dealing with, their deceptions. They were easily tempted. This person could not yield to their temptations, whether it was chasing money, chasing women, chasing men. They were very deception. This deception and just that three of swords, okay? So you allow them, you let them go, and I feel like you allow them to go ahead and live their life because this person was not ready for this twin flame connection, okay? So I feel like with that self-care energy is what you took and did for yourself, my divine femme, divine masculine, and take it how it resonates. But we do see the masculine here isolating now. And I feel like what he's trying to do is heal himself now. The self-care energy. He's like, you made this person, you make me want to leave the one I'm with, start a new relationship with you. This is what I do. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. So there we go with the epiphany and the wish fulfillment. This person now realizes with that breakthrough and that epiphany that you are their wish fulfillment. And I feel like some of you guys are waiting for your turn. Like, when is it my turn? You know, but spirit is going to give you the downloads. I feel like you're going to get that breakthrough. You're going to get the epiphany. And with these dreams, whatever spirit is going to show you, they're going to show you how to get this new beginning, the path. You're going to get it in a vision, my collective. Okay. Yeah, you are. You're going to get it in a vision here. Because here go the wish fulfillment. That's the nine of cups. Okay. 
And like I said, this person sees you as their wish fulfillment. Okay? They have an epiphany now, the breakthrough. Yeah, because they was dealing with their shadow energy. Dark night of the soul is what this person is going through, a spiritual transformation, like I said right here. This is it. They're going through this transformation. They're getting themselves aligned. They're healing their chakras. This person is getting themselves in balance, okay? Yeah, that's what they're doing, okay? They're putting in the work because this is what they're dealing with. So, uh, karma, balance, and justice. Here it is. Wow. This is the temperance, balance. There go the justice, Libra. <laughs> oh, shoot. And there go the karma, which is also justice, but the wheel of fortune as well. Look at all three. Huh? Look at that. Karma, balance, and justice is all here in these cards and on this one card. Look at that, my collective. All right? So justice will be served. If you've been dealing with a lot of imbalanced situation in your life, like I said, when you're feeling like, damn, when is it my turn? I'm always juggling. I'm always struggling. I always got to do this. You know, you just felt like it was always a fight. Spirit is like, don't worry. Things are about to be balanced for you. Okay? You're about to be tempered where you just flow. Life is about to change for you. Okay, my collective? So don't worry about that. You're going to go through this death and this rebirth. Okay? You're about to walk away from all that stress and all that struggling. You feel me? Yeah. You're about to walk away from all that. All right. Just stay in your present moment. OK. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I hope you guys are keeping up with me. I hope you guys are following. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Did I tell you this person was closed off and resistant, acting cold and abrasive? Well, this is where they're at now. They're guarded. They're going through that dark night of the soul. They shadow energy. You can see it right here. Yeah. The shadow side right here. This person is doing a lot of self-reflecting. A lot of healing. Okay, so this person knows spirit is keeping this person away from you because this person knows they got to get on their spiritual path. They have to get tempered within. This person is stripping their old beliefs. Okay, yeah, this is why they're right here right now. Okay, they're doing a lot of reflecting. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And this is what this is why they feel like this because they get their karma. There you go for messing with this divine union. But this is the divine union, which is the twin flame union here. Okay. Yeah, they couldn't decide. There it go, because this person had a lot of unhealed wounds. They had a lot of ch inner childhood wounds that need to be corrected, that needed to be addressed. And like I said, if they went after, you know, their ego and their pride and the vanity wasn't allowing them to, to heal so they can get on this connection with you. But you allowed, you you left this person. Like, I, you're not going to decide for us. How about I decide for me and you, I'm going to let you go and you decide for you. And when you get on this path, if you get on this path, meet me at the top. And that's energetically what I'm talking about at the top. Because no matter what this person had, then I tell you all the material shit, all the women, all the men, all the expensive cars does not matter without you. All of the women, all of the fancy cars, all of the don't amount to you. Okay, that's Drew Hill. If I could have everything, I would want I don't want to be a lonely fool. But without you, girl, my life is incomplete. Oh, yeah. Without you, their life is incomplete. This person was not showing you any gratitude. Now they regret it. They regret it. Okay? Yeah. Wow. So like I said for you, my collective, if there's any type of injustice that has been done in your life, you know, you went within. I feel like you guys have forgiven a lot of people in your past, people who haven't even come and given you an apology. It's okay. You forgive them anyways. You're moving on. And I feel like there's a lot of changes coming in here. I feel like there's a lot of spiritual awakening here for this masculine energy as well. And yeah, and, and whatever it is that you guys are worried about, don't worry about it. Spirit is like you, you will be getting your wish fulfillment. That hard struggling, two of pentacles, always having to juggle, five of pentacles, living paycheck to paycheck. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna life is about to change with that wheel of fortune, with that this five of pentacles. You guys worked hard and your hard work is being recognized by the most high. Okay, because you've done the work. Your abundance is gonna flow now. You've done the work. Okay, you've absolutely done the work. So let's end this with the message of love oracle, my collective. And that's going to be the 8-8 eight, eight reading for you guys. I hope you guys were following along with what I'm saying here. <laughs> okay, like I said, spirit don't give you no more than, they, than you can handle because they know you got the strength. They know you are capable. Okay, and it's, it's about to be your turn. Okay, higher learning is here as well. Some of y'all going back to school. It's going to bring in a lot of abundance. Yeah, oh wow.
<clears throat> oh, let me fix my cards here. Some of these, yeah. Okay. So well, here go the facade. Beliefs. This is what this person is tripping. What do I see peeking here? Yeah, somebody's coming in to express their truth. Okay. Could be dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, like I said. Okay, I feel like with the third eye in reverse, this person is going through the dark night of the soul right now. Okay, they ain't got no clarity right now. It's, it's very clouded, clouded judgment here for this person. Okay, yeah, they misjudged. While you're here standing in your power and your strength. Okay, so I feel like this, this clarity in the reverse is the person who's going through the dark night of the soul, that shadow work. Okay, um, and, the, and this is you. This is you. So this is you and your twin flame energy. Okay, yeah, I, yeah, you're here with the strength card here. All right, you have risen. All right, and this person's gonna have to meet your energy. They they're gonna have to raise their vibration to get here with you. Cause like I said, you're abundant on your own. And what this person think that could fulfill you isn't going to fulfill you. There's no money in the world. No amount of money, cars, come with the yo. You gotta come correct energetically. You gotta come correct. So this person knows they have to go through this dark night. They just have to. They have to, you know, go through that spiritual change. And I feel like that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. Yeah, this person is starting to see the truth. But it's still cloudy because, like I said, clouded judgment with this clarity in reverse, right? They made a wrong decision. Right? But this person is now, like, all up in their emotions. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they were hiding their emotions, basically. They knew the truth. They knew the truth how they want, they felt. So I feel like before they can come and express this to you, they have to go through a complete healing, okay? And here we go again with the masculine energy. This this could be a feminine in her masculine energy using that control tactics or vice versa. So take what resonates, okay? This person knows that they can't come and influence you with anything because your strength, you're empowering you. You you don't yield to this. You're not tempted. Um, this person can't come in and tempt you anymore. No, because why, baby? You're in your life's purpose. North, no, damn. So this person got to ascend on this vibration before they come towards you, okay? Because this is where you're going to go, my collective, okay? This is where you're headed. A lot of you guys are stepping into your life's purpose after this 8-8 portal. Yes, and it's coming in rapid, okay? So, like I said, be very mindful, be open, be ready. Be ready, my collectors. Be ready. It's coming. The abundance is going to flow like a river. Okay? It's like a dam. It's like, you, you know, you keep trying to patch. This is a destined partnership. That's that twin flame. And with the fate here, that's the wheel of fortune. Whether it's teamwork, collaborating with the right people, working together, whether it's soul, whatever. It's, it's fate. It's your time. It's that wheel of fortune. It's your turn now. You feel me? It's your turn. Yeah. Huh? Look at this. Huh? At the time, different pages, you and this person don't share the same vision. And I feel like that's where this person was cold and, and you seen them closed off and resistant. So you allowed this person to go about their business and you went your way. This twin flame here again, another deck. It's destined. Okay? So divine timing, patience, that temperance energy. I feel like spirit is keeping this person away from you. Until they go through that dark night, that death, that death card came up, that death, that rebirth. This person has to come out brand new. And I mean, energetically, they got to meet your vibration and get on their north node, their ascending higher self. So it says everything will unfold in divine time. And as well, my collective, when I was telling you already, you already know the answers you seek. Go after it. You're in, follow your intuition. Okay. Spirit is guiding you to where you to, to, to get this new beginning. Like I said, so be patient. It's your turn now. You're going to get out of that five of pentacles energy. Okay, but you can't have a lap mindset. You can't have that lap mindset like and telling yourself like things like, damn, I'm broke. Um, damn, I never have enough money. No, don't, don't, don't speak things like that into life. You can't. Okay, you just can't. You have to say, I am wealthy. I am abundant. You know, be grateful for what you have. Okay. <clears throat> And once you live in that nine of cups, wish fulfillment and imagine it, visualize it, it will come to you. Okay, what's this? Passion. Try something you've never done before. I feel like some of you guys are going to be doing that. Okay, that's what you're going to be doing. Something new. Um, like I said, second chance here. This is a reconciliation. This relationship deserves a second chance. And someone is secretly yearning for you. I told you guys have a secret admirer. That's that person who's watching you. They want a second chance with you. Okay. 
All right. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. These cards are just spitting themselves out. It is safe to trust in this situation. So I said with you guys, you're walking by faith, not by sight. You might not physically have it in your hand or cannot see it in front of you, but you got to trust in the situation and take that leap of faith. It's going to change your life. Okay. Um... Wait, the timing is not quite right. So with this weight energy, it's the patience for both situations. But it's also, I feel like with the weight, it's that's for your twin flame. Spirit got them on pause right now because they, they have to go through this complete transformation, that death and that rebirth, that healing of their inner child, okay? So I feel like that weight card is definitely for the twin flame, but it's also for you too. It's almost it's your turn, okay? It's your turn now. And you're going to see that in this 8-8 eight, eight portal, okay? Um... Obstacles on heel wounds are blocking forward movement. Yeah, that's the twin flame. That's the twin flame. That that's why you guys were on different pages because they had a lot of obstacles and unhealed wounds. All right, and it says this relationship is moving towards a sacred union. So I told you with that hierophant energy, this person after they go through their ascension, this person is going to be on the right path, come and speak their truth, and they're going to want to offer you marriage. It's going to lead to marriage if you guys choose for it to be. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all right. So, wow. Oh, wow. Um, support lean on your inner circle during this time. I feel like that inner circle is could be your friends, your family, but I really truly feel like your your inner circle is your angel guides, your your ancestors, you know, um God. Yeah. God. And here it is. It says, "This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson." Okay, wow. So this person, you are in this person's life to teach them a lesson. And you, you made this person want to change. You made this person go through a spiritual change. Yeah, you have. Okay, and it says forgiveness. Once again, it says forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. That's that inner childhood wounds. And here was speaking, healing. It says old wounds and, and childhood issues need revisiting. Okay, and it says protected. You are safe and divinely guided, my collective. Okay, you're safe and divinely guided. So let go of the fear and go after what you want. Because once you do that with that Ace of Wands and that Eight of Wands, honey, those new uh, those doors of opportunity is going to. And if it's something that you was holding on to or a childhood dream or something that you always want to do as a child, let your spirit be free. We've seen that zero in the Uno deck. We've seen the freedom in the Yin Yang Oracle deck. Like, let your spirit be free. Just run with it. Go with it. And you'll be surprised how you will be so unstoppable because it's your truth. It's, 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 it's what you want to do. It's fate. It's fate. And you're going to run into uh, partnerships that are going to um, work with you, team up with you, collaborate with you. You're going to be at the right place at the right time to make things happen. You feel me? So go. Trust. It is safe to trust in the situation. Do it. Follow your intuition. Okay? Do that. Do that. Do that. Decisions. It's time to make a decision about this relationship. Yeah, that's what this person is doing. You, too, you told them you either decide I'm going to keep it moving. And y'all kept it moving and left them to decide on their own terms what they want to do with their life. But you're not going to do it for both of us. No, you're not. No, you're not. Okay? So that's what I have for you guys for the 8-8 eight, eight reading. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's almost been an hour. Okay, once again, I split the deck. Trust. You got to trust in your higher self. Trust and believe. Okay, so we don't give you no more than what you can handle, baby. It's your turn. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. That is a beautiful reading. Um, I feel like that masculine energy, whether it's male or female, you know, I feel like they're on the right path now. And that's a good thing. It's a good thing that they decide to go through that, you know, because it's not easy. And you, my collective, who's on that divine feminine energy or divine masculine, take it how it resonates. Y'all already know that ain't easy to forgive. That ain't easy to let go of the pride. You know, ego is a death to our life, to our livelihood. You know, ego can just F us over and keep us stuck. You know what I'm saying? So this person is now realizing that. They're now seeing that. But they ain't fully clear yet because that third eye is in reverse. The clarity, they still haven't. You know, they, they still haven't complete that cycle. So Spirit is, is saying, wait, it's not the right time for that twin flame to come together. I strongly feel like that's what the wait is all about for that wait card. Um, because this person still has healing to do. So and some of them are still caught up in a in a Queen of Pentacles commitment situation. You know what I'm saying? And they gotta they gotta clear that all out. They gotta get that divorce, they gotta clear all that out, you know. Whatever they got going on over there has nothing to do with you. 
So you continue on your path, Divine Femme, Divine Masculine, but your person, your twin flame, obviously came out in two different decks, is going through a healing. And until they do so, Spirit is going to keep them away from you, but you pulled your energy back. You know, I feel like you took away your energy from this person. You ain't got time. You focused on your own growth. You feel me? And you're on that Empress energy. You feel me? Yeah. Too balanced. Tempered. You're, you're at peace with yourself. You found that peace. And I feel like you guys wasn't going to wait for this twin flame energy. It was, it's been a long journey and it could be dragging and it could distract you from getting to where you need to be. But we've seen the North Node energy. You guys have ascended. You guys are there. You have found your purpose, definitely, and your mastery with that eight. So if it hasn't come, this is what's to come, like I said, for this after this eight, eight portal. Okay? Yeah, a lot of abundance here. How you're learning, and that's in your spirituality, and that's as well as for the money, your opportunities, your childhood dreams, whatever it is. Go after it, baby. The opportunities are here now. Manifest it. Go get it. Okay? It's your girl, Unknown Goddess. I wish you guys love and light.